so today is a super impromptu video. I had no plans of doing this video. I didn't even think it was going to happen um, until yesterday. I ended up going shopping at an outlet mall and ended up going into an outlet Nike shop and ended up walking away with all of this. So I figured why not share what I ended up purchasing and sharing my haul with you guys. Now my big thing about outlet malls is that I do love a handful of name brand uh, companies out there. I love my Kate Spade, I love Nike, I love a lot of other big brand names, but I just can't justify spending the price sometimes on some of the items. Um, so if I can get a great deal on a, a pair of shoes or a handbag, I will go a little bit further to pay less and be able to have something that I've always wanted. Um, so this video is more or less to show you guys that if you want big name brand products, you should check out the companies and see if they have any outlet stores at outlet malls or if there's any just big warehouse stores that they have, mostly because you can also find some really cool things, whether they're a season old or two, you can still find really cool products for sometimes half the price or sometimes even a quarter of the price. So here's that proof that you can find really cool things at an outlet store. So I have always had, over the years, over the last couple of years, I've had a little bit of a love-hate relationship with Nike. I'm a huge fan of their basic sports bras, mostly just because I don't need a whole lot of support. I like the fact that it's just simple, it's pressing everything down, it's holding everything in, and that's all I really need a sports bra to do. Um, I love the fabrics. I still have my very first sports bra from Nike, and it's still basically in the same condition that I purchased it in. And same with my pair of Nike Freeze. They were the first pair of Nikes slash running shoes, real, I think, no, that's a lie. They're like the second pair of athletic shoes I ever really, per like real athletic shoes I purchased, but I still have them. And for the most part, same as the bra, they're basically in the same condition that I bought them in. Um, so I definitely have been a fan of their shoes and their sports bras, everything else. I'm a fan of the colors and the designs, but for me, the clothing, the tops, the bottoms have never necessarily just fit my body. I was surprised to find a couple of things that ended up working out for me, so let's dive right in. I think I'm going to start with the shoes first. So, I'm going to pull these guys out. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. It's trying to run away. So these were the first things that I ended up actually trying on at the store and saw at the store. And this, this and the next pair of shoes very much defines the kind of person that I am. I love things either that are completely fluorescent or really bright colors, especially when it comes to like my active wear, not just to my gym clothes, but like my shells and my like hiking gear. I either love really bright colors or just straight up like black or very neutral colors. So these are very much super fun. These are the Women's Nike Free RN Motion FKOC. I don't know what half that means so for those of you who do that's what those are that's what these are um i first the first thing i noticed was just how much crazy amount of cushion these things have and all i heard was rogan yelling in my head saying that that's crazy and you don't need this much cushion I agree. Um, generally when I'm running or working out, I do actually like quite a bit of a drop in my soul. But I figure for work where I'm literally and figuratively running around all day long on concrete, my feet definitely feel that at the end of the day if I wear a flat pair of shoes. So I figure that I'd give these a try for work and I would also just give these a try at the gym. The one thing that I have not tried yet from Nike is their fly knit, which is kind of like the sock design. Um, I am a huge fan of not wearing socks while I work out and a big reason for that is is that I overheat very easily so not wearing socks has kind of always been just something that I do from time to time but generally with the structure of shoes on the inside they have like seams and other the way they're like designed on the inside sometimes they'll give me blisters or they're, they'll cut me so I'm really interested to see how these end up working out I love the color the flimsiness of these strings is mind-numbing, but the overall design of these shoes is really cool and really fun, and I'm excited. Honestly, they are super comfortable. 
they are like walking on a cloud. So I do have to say they are incredibly comfortable, but I definitely wouldn't want to get used to running on such a fat sole because it means your muscles in your feet are going to be weak, very, very weak. These originally, the cost of these shoes originally were $200. I ended up paying $60 for these. So what I think I'm going to do at the end of this video, I'm going to put in the description box down below what these items actually cost and what I paid and to show you guys how much you can really save. So that's crazy. These are $200 shoes and I paid 60 bucks for them. I think that just alone is the best deal that you can possibly get for a pair of shoes. 200 bucks, I've paid around $200 for a pair of Nikes, but paying $60 for a pair of Nikes is just like that much better. So to the complete opposite spectrum of shoe world, I found these on the shelf and when I saw them initially I wasn't sure I wasn't totally sold on them they are a suede sneaker and I fell in love with them the second they got on my foot these honestly feel like I'm wearing a sock they are a beautiful design I've been looking for like a neutral pair of sneakers or running shoes to replace the white converse that I've worn over the last couple of years um, I've had I've run through two pairs of white converse just like a lot of people they're super simple easy to go neutral shoe to wear with a lot of outfits but I've kind of been looking for that awesome sneaker, that really interesting sneaker that I could wear. Now, I know nothing about the sneaker world, so maybe any of you sneaker heads out there could suggest a pair of shoes. I've been looking at Jordans. I know nothing about Jordans. I know nothing about the, like, real sneaker culture, but I am totally down for it, and I would love to learn. So if any of you could suggest stores or online websites to check out, let me know in the comment section down below, because I definitely want to up my game in the sneaker closet section because you know I cleaned out my closet I am that's why there's if there's a mess behind me it's because I'm still in the middle of renovating my room and now that I've gotten rid of a crap ton of stuff I have space in my closet so I'm gonna fill it with more stuff but these are honestly incredibly comfortable they are a beautiful design I think today is going to be the first day I'm gonna wear them and it probably will be the last day I'm gonna wear them because it was snowing yesterday and these I can't ever justify wearing in the snow but I will probably get one or two wears out of these this at this point in the year um, because once the snow falls it's tends to be kind of a disaster here in Toronto so these beautiful babies are a and I guess I should mention this pair is a nine and a half and so is the other pair just like a lot of other brands Nike I've noticed over the last couple of years the sizing and their styles of shoes for myself has changed I tried on a nine which normally would fit in a pair of Metcons that were a gorgeous color the gentleman at the store like showed them to me because I asked him to like point out a pair of sneakers that like he would suggest and they were this beautiful like peachy and blue color and I've never had a training specific shoe and I really wanted them just because the colors alone and they felt like a really nice shoe but unfortunately they were way too small had they had the nine and a half I probably would have purchased them as well um, but just like everything if one of my best pieces of advice for you guys if you can try something on before purchasing it definitely try it on first so these guys ironically were $140 which were a lot less than those but I guess because of the fly knit fabric it takes a lot longer to construct those even though these are suede um, these were $140 and I paid 55 bucks for these so these are honestly I've been waiting for shoes like this for about a season like I looked all summer long for a pair of interesting sneakers like this and I ended up finding a pair so I'm very happy I ended up waiting now to completely contradict what I said at the beginning of this video, I ended up buying a bunch of clothing from Nike. Now, I half the reason I checked out the Nike shop was slash outlet store was because I was amazed by the amount of clothing they had. And once I started looking at the price tags, I honestly couldn't believe how cheap this stuff was. So what I ended up doing is I ended up trying the stuff on. I grabbed a whole bunch of things and I figured, you know what, I'm already here why not try this stuff on see how it fits if it works it works if it doesn't then it doesn't then I'll go buy a pair of shoes or something and I ended up finding a bunch of stuff that actually fit me really well and was incredibly cheap like mind-numbingly cheap easily the first 
thing that I want to show you guys that like honestly piqued my interest and was like the biggest winner of for me today for that for yesterday was this Nike jacket this guy is like a staple standard for me what I consider Nike it's simple as far as the design goes but it's different enough with the mesh paneling and it says Nike on the bottom of it which it almost like matches my sports bra <laughs> um it's this is enough like of a interesting design for me like i really like minimalist looks like this where you very much get the difference of the fabric changes and but you still get the labeling and the logos that aren't over the top but they're still there in like the most considered way now i do have to say when it comes to um the night the new nike stuff these fabrics that I noticed with the clothing are incredibly soft and that's half the reason I was sold on this jacket is because the fabric is so soft. It's also incredibly cheap and it overall the fit of it I am so incredibly happy with how this jacket looks on. I was incredibly impressed. I've been a big fan of cropped pieces this summer. Um, not super duper cropped but cropped items just because I think it flatters my figure a little bit more and shows off my figure a little bit more. Now I do have to say a big selling point was the cost on this jacket besides the fact that it fit well besides the fact that it was super soft and I've said this before if it's not soft I will not buy it because it just like if I can't necessarily like if I can't wear it on my body without going crazy I'm not gonna wear it. <laughs> So it's just gonna sit in my closet for a couple of years until I get rid of it hence the like seven garbage bags of clothing that I have. Now the original cost of this jacket was $105. I paid $35 bucks for it. Now, is it a $100 jacket? Maybe. Um, would I spend $100 on it? Probably not. Um, but $35, I honestly felt like I was committing highway robbery paying $35. Only $35 for this jacket. $35, 100%. It's definitely worth it. It's different enough. It's a really nice quality. It's nice fabric. This is something that's going to be in my closet for a really long time. So I call this guy a win. Now moving on to the rest of the clothing, I have always had issues with their shirts, mostly because I found that they either didn't fit me in the shoulders, they would ride up and then ride down, it was just, it's been a super confusing fitting session with Nike over the last couple of years, so I've mostly given up until I saw the enormous wall of tank tops that they had. This tank top, really the color drew me in. Again, I like either super bright colors or super light neutral tones. This is kind of like a mauve light purple color, which very much fits in with like the pair of shoes, the second pair of shoes that I purchased. Um, and this, I really like the simplicity of the Nike design on the front. It's not over the top the mesh fabrics and it's not like a crinoline fabric like softness through and through this top is super duper soft um and overall just it fits really nice and it's the softness of the stuff has completely that's the one thing i feel like nike has done a oh, complete 180 on is that the fabrics of this stuff is so so incredibly soft and I don't know what they did or how they changed as far as the fabrics go but it's definitely worth checking out originally now the price of this tank top it was $25 and I did end up spending a little bit more on this tank top and it was $18 so I did spend a little bit more compared to like savings wise I didn't get as much of a savings on this tank top but the color and the different kind of fabrics alone definitely made it worth it next uh next item I purchased was another tank top I tried on a bunch of tops and I kind of just narrowed it down for to these couple of tops now this top I'm gonna hold upside down just so you guys can see the actual like graphics and the different tones and the pattern so I really love the patterning of this and I love the little bit of a like 
blast of color through the Nike swish overall this tank top now again the reason I like wearing tank tops at the gym is because again I overheat really quickly so having something on that I don't end up just peeling off halfway through my workout is you know a bonus and I feel like these tank tops cover me in the way that I like like that right now I've gained a couple of pounds because honestly I haven't been working out the last couple of weeks slash a couple of months so I you know if I'm sitting on the rowing machine I don't want everybody staring at my rolls or showing off my rolls right now so this tank top gives me just enough coverage that I feel comfortable in but at the same time it's definitely giving me the exposure that I need and the breathability that I need to keep my body temperature at a like semi normal level but I do have to say the one thing that I found interesting about this tank top is that the neck design is a little bit snug so it actually hugs around your neck really nice not like it's you know choking you but enough that it's gonna stay in place and it's not gonna move around and then the rest of it's gonna flow nicely along your body and give you the coverage that you maybe want um, this this tank top I didn't even realize how much it cost until I came home it was an $84 tank top and I paid 20 bucks for it so $20 I can justify especially knowing that it's gonna last a really long time and the design is simple enough that I could wear it through and through over the next couple of years with a bunch of things that I already have so that tank top was definitely also another win now the last item that I purchased I feel like I have some explaining to do but honestly it's let me just explain when I saw this on the rack I thought it was some sort of a running top because it says Nike running division and I honestly thought it was one of those tank tops this is basically what I saw on the rack and I thought it was one of those tops, like I didn't even look super close at it because the color was so beautiful and I liked the, the division writing on there. I thought it was a tank, like a tank top with pockets on the back because generally a lot of running gear, like really serious running gear has pockets in the back so you can put your money or your keys or like those bottles, those like little squeeze bottles of, for like water bottles that you can buy in most running stores or sports stores. Um, you can put them in the back, they have pockets. So that's what I thought this was. I didn't take a really good look at it until I got into the change room, took it off the hanger and was like, wait a minute, this is not a tank top. This is a one piece running suit. And I about hit the floor. Um, I had actually this past year considered looking into some sort of like triathlon suit to do my Spartan races in because mostly because my compression pants unless my pants are super skin tight most of them end up like sliding down my tops end up riding up and when you start collecting mud and once you start getting soaking wet throughout the race you can feel like that weight of your clothing on you which is never really comfortable so I had thought about getting a one piece something or other for next summer and I know that I've gained a couple of pounds over the last couple of months because I've really given up on my training but by next summer I do fit into this really nice not to like bash on myself I love my body I love the way I look I think I've just got gained a couple of happy pounds really is what it is I do fit into this and I do feel like I look pretty good in it. Um, it is just a little bit snug around my thighs, I think mostly because they are a little bit on the heavier side from what they normally are. But the look of this and the feel of this is so freaking cool. I honestly feel like a superhero in this. It, it, it does feel like it's quite revealing, but at the same time, honestly, it's so comfortable that I definitely feel like I am going to end up getting some sort of use out of this suit. Now. The big selling point to this one piece running tracksuit thing, unitard thing, is that this thing was originally $130. Besides be having the goal of fitting into this by the end of or by the by next summer, I couldn't say no to this mostly because it was $10. $10. Even if I don't fit into this next summer, I'm going to get some sort of use out of this. I'm not concerned. I'm going to use this in my race season at some point or another. But 
for ten dollars i could not say no to this so i ended up purchasing it it's gonna sit in my closet for now eventually i'm gonna find some sort of use for it but i honestly thought it was one of the cooler pieces that i came across so that is my haul um that is basically everything i purchased and i found at the nike outlet shop store shop place i don't know what to call it um honestly i feel like if you are, again, looking for brand name items, you can definitely find them for a reasonable price. You just have to do a little bit of research and maybe check out and see, again, if those companies do have outlet stores, because a majority of them do. Like, I have heard in the past that Gucci has an outlet store. Um, I don't think they have one here in Canada. I may be wrong about that, but I have heard in the US they do have them. So there are plenty of chances for you to own brand name items if you want them for a lot less of a price tag that you would find at the regular store. Like, I haven't done the total math of all this, but I can imagine that I saved probably close to $400 on all of this stuff. I ended up paying Dun -dun -dun. The official price of all my stuff, I paid $255.58. So I do have to say, I basically saved, I basically would have paid this for one pair of shoes, basically. Once the tax added up and everything, I probably would have paid, I would have just been able to buy these shoes, basically, for the cost of all of this stuff. So... Definitely saved quite a bit of money. Definitely would recommend checking out outlet stores. It does take a little bit of time. I always suggest going really early in the morning. I went earlier in the day and there was basically nobody at the store, which was also a win because I've been told that there have been massive lineups outside the store in previous weeks. So the earlier you go, the better, the chan better chances of getting in and out and being able to find things without having to like shove through a bunch of, like, a bunch of people. But yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to share my haul with you guys, my successful haul. I'm going out now to do more shopping for this bedroom of mine. I'm like nearing in on finishing the redecorating, the re-renovating of this room. I'm almost there. I'm almost finished. Um, there's prob I'm probably still two weeks out before actually finishing this room, but I am getting closer. This weekend I definitely got a lot closer. I finally cleaned out the closet, which was a big deal, got rid of my storage bins, and now I just have to figure out a couple more items and move some things around before I'll be done, and I will do a bedroom tour maybe for you guys if you're interested in seeing that. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing, um whether or not the stuff how the stuff fits i'm definitely going to add in clips of me trying this stuff on in this video but if you want to see in real life i will post my instagram uh handle down in the description box down below if you guys want to check me out on there usually i'm posting quite a bit of stuff on my story and on the wall over throughout my day so you guys can kind of check out where i'm going what i'm doing and what i'm finding at what stores but that's about it. If you guys have any questions, as always, you can reach me at my Instagram or in the description box down below. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday slash Sunday slash weekend and are staying warm. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.